Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Meals in the Making. I feel like every single intro is the same, so I need to come up with a new kind of saying or something. Like, what's up peeps? Whatever it may be. If y'all have any suggestions, please drop those down in the comments. So today, our theme is Italian. I think we've probably done Italian before, but we're doing Italian again. Kind of. And then my mason jar salad that I'm going to do again is actually a taco salad. So. The first thing that we're going to make today is going to be a zucchini lasagna. So I'm gonna get that started. And then the other thing we're making is actually um, baked spaghetti, and that is my own recipe. I'm not making that today though, I just don't have the time. We've been really crazy today, so I'm just gonna make the zucchini, lasa zucchini lasagna. Zucchini lasagna today, and also my mason jar salads to get ready for the week. So let me show you what we're gonna need for the zucchini lasagna. For this zucchini lasagna, you will need two medium-sized unpeeled zucchini, two teaspoons of olive oil, 16 ounces of 99% lean ground turkey, two cups of no sugar added tomato sauce. I always use Rouse's because I know that it is program approved, but if you've got another all natural, no sugar, homemade marinara sauce, go ahead. A half a teaspoon of salt, eight ounces of part skim mozzarella cheese, two egg whites, four tablespoons of grated Parmesan, half a teaspoon of oregano leaves, and cooking spray. Of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is preheat my oven to 375 degrees. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and brown up my turkey meat. And to do that, I'm going to start by putting my two teaspoons of olive oil into a large skillet or pot or whatever it is you want to use. And then I'll go ahead and add my turkey meat. turkey meat is browning I'm going to go ahead and start getting my zucchini into slices with the mandolin very 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 carefully because last time I used this I completely cut myself I pretty much got a slice of my finger off and I've just now got my finger back to normal so I'm gonna start slicing this with my mandolin like I said very carefully which if you're using egg beaters, that's about a third of a cup. Eight ounces of mozzarella cheese. And four tablespoons of low fat Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna get it all mixed. Okay, so my ground turkey is nice and cooked. So I'm gonna go ahead and to this, I'm going to add my two cups of no sugar added tomato sauce. I'm gonna mix this together and then it's time to assemble our lasagna, or lasagna, as Robbie would say. I know you're probably all wondering where Robbie is today. Robbie actually got called into work, so you'll have to wait till the vlog to see him. And by the way, shameless little plug right here, if you only watch me for my Optavia journey, I would love it if you would join us for our vlogs. My vlogs typically come out on Mondays and it includes the things that we do over the weekend, like for example, this weekend my little cousin was here, so we did all kinds of fun things. Had lots of water gun fights. It's a blast. Okay, so now that I have sprayed my casserole dish, I'm gonna start assembling my lasagna. I'm going to start with a spoonful or two of my meat mixture. And 
and it looks like I'm only gonna get to do half the pan. I'm then gonna take my zucchini and layer that on here. You want it to overlap with each other. Then I'm gonna add my cheese mixture. and you get the picture. finished product should look like again ignore that I thought I was gonna use the entire pan I probably should have used my smaller pan but that's okay I'm gonna throw this in the oven now again at 375 for 30 minutes until the cheese on top is completely melted and it's all kind of mushed together so here is our zucchini lasagna this is actually like a day and a half later I'm taking this for lunch Robbie may do the same uh, we just had a crazy evening last night so this is four servings worth and each serving is one leaner three green, one healthy fat, and two condiments. So you should have one condiment left for the day. Hi everyone and welcome to the second half of Meals in the Making. Oh, Robbie's calling me, hold on just a second. Anyway, so I just had to get off the phone with Robbie. As you'll see, I'm in comfy clothes. It was not such a fun day at work today, so I came home and I changed into my comfy clothes and that is what I'm doing for the evening. I have a lot of things on my to-do list, but I also have things on my want to-do list that I'm definitely gonna get done this evening because we all have to have those days. Anyway, so this second Meals in the Making recipe that we're making is baked spaghetti. It's something that I've made up myself. Shiner, get down. Get down. Just trying to mess up my fall decorations, y'all. Anyway, side note, does anybody else have their fall stuff out yet too? I kind of feel crazy, but fall just makes me happy, so. Anyway, so baked spaghetti. It's my own invention, my own recipe. So let me show you what's in it. For this recipe, you will need 24 ounces of cooked 96% or more lean ground beef. I've already done mine, so here's that. Four cups of shredded cooked spaghetti squash. One cup of Rouse's homemade marinara sauce. Four tablespoons of reduced fat Parmesan cheese. Two teaspoons of diced white tomatoes. Two teaspoons of minced garlic and eight tablespoons of one-third less fat cream cheese. The first thing I'm going to do is set my oven to 375 degrees. The next thing that I'll go ahead and do is cook my spaghetti squash and scrape it into noodles. I already have a video where I do this so I'll link that above but I'm not going to show that process because I know I've done it several times. Now while the spaghetti squash is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and make the spaghetti sauce and the thing that goes on top of all the noodles right now. The first thing I've done is put all of my meat, like I said I browned this beforehand, into a Dutch oven and I've warmed it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna add all the rest of my ingredients to this mixture. The first thing I'll add is my one cup of Rouse's marinara sauce. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it goes pretty far. Next, I'll add my two tablespoons of onion, my two teaspoons of minced garlic, and then I'm actually only gonna start with four tablespoons of cream cheese. And then I'm gonna stir that up. I want the cream cheese to make this mixture pretty creamy. Like I said, if I need to add the extra four tablespoons later on, I can. I think that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on this and let this simmer for about five minutes just so it can cook down a little bit, can cook some of the juices out of it. And then we'll move on to our next step. 
Now I'm gonna add, you can see my sous chef is back. I'm gonna add four cups of the spaghetti squash to the bottom of this casserole dish. All I have is a half cup clean, so you'll see me add eight, but really it's four cups. We used most of this spaghetti squash. That's Typically good. we have some left over, so that's good. Okay, so now, I'm gonna make sure that it's all even throughout the casserole dish. And then, we will take our delicious baked spaghetti meat sauce. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. And then we're gonna pour it on top. And then we're gonna add our, uh oh, four tablespoons of chess. Parmesan. Parmesan chess. Okay, so four tablespoons. Excuse me, Roberto. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. Everything in there is already cooked, just needs to be warmed together, and we want the cheese on top to melt. So, 10 minutes on 375. So here it is. I don't know if Robbie updated y'all when he took it out of the oven, our baked spaghetti. This is four servings worth, and each serving is one lean, three green, two condiments, and half of a healthy fat. Enjoy. Hey guys, you're definitely seeing me in all of my glory now. I wanted to go ahead and close out this Meals in the Making. I forgot to do that last night. But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like I say every single time, if you have a recipe that you'd like for me to make program approved, please drop it down in the comments and I will definitely try and do so. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'd love to have you join us each time I upload. But I wanna thank you guys and I love you all and God bless you.